Let's get you right outside now, live to Stephanie Simone, so she can come back inside to warm up in just a moment or two. Stephanie. Hi, Keith. Yeah, I'll tell you, it is biting out here, that's for sure. And you want to be careful if you're heading out on the roads tonight because they are going to be slick. There were some damp spots earlier today, and those definitely have frozen over. We traveled to cities and towns in Connecticut talking to folks about how they are just coping in this weather. Just as the decorations come down in Wallingford, it is starting to feel like the season. It's not bad if you dress for it. Stay moving. To keep it warm, the mouth and the nose. In North Haven, Alfredo Palafox works on building these apartments on State Street, and he counts his layers. I got one, two, three, four, five in the jacket to keep it warm. Ice sits stacked in Milford, but this family says they can feel it in Derby when the wind whips through. It feels like there's like ice hitting me in the face, but there's no ice. We actually found one who doesn't mind it. Hey, it's January. We're in New England. This is how cold it gets. <laughs> they always used to get this cold. But crews say they're more concerned about tomorrow with wind chills dropping temps well below zero. We're going to be wake up in the morning, and if it's too cold, we stay home. If not, we got to try to come and work because we got to try to finish the project. But they still might power through in Wallingford. Christmas was more than 10 days ago, and decorations need to come down. Maybe the wreaths on the poles will do tomorrow. That'll be cold. Yeah, yes, it will. And you know, it would not be a winter weather story without this giant thermometer here. Look at it, just under 20 degrees tonight. And with those wind chills, oh, it feels a lot colder, I'll tell you. And tomorrow, I can't believe it's going to get even worse. So everyone, just try and stay indoors if you can. For now, we're live in New Haven tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8.